So here's what went down this month on the NationalCrimeSyndicate.com. The date was April 7th, 1972. Mobster Joey Gallo was celebrating his 43rd birthday with his family at Umberto's Clam House located in Little Italy, which still remains there today. The time was 4.30 a.m. Four gunmen rush into the restaurant and fire off 20 shots from 32 and 38 revolvers at Gallo's table. Gallo was fatally wounded in the attack and got hit in the back, arm, and leg. He overturned the table and made it to the door of the clam house in order to draw fire away from his family. Gallo collapsed on the street outside and died later in the hospital. Continuing with the restaurant theme that April seems to have, we move back in time to April 15th, 1931. The place was Nueva Villa Tomorrow on Coney Island. Joe the Boss had just turned up at the seafood restaurant to play cards and have lunch with his bodyguards and Lucky Luciano. During a card game, Lucky went to the bathroom and several gunmen entered the building firing off 20 shots from 32 and 38 caliber revolvers. One of them went straight into the back of Joe Masaria's head, killing him instantly. Finally, we bring April to a close with the death of former Chicago outfit boss Johnny Torrio. Papa Johnny was Al Capone's mentor, and he also played a major role in the assassination of former boss Big Jim Colosimo. Torrio died of a heart attack at the age 75 on April 16, 1957. This is what went down on the NationalCrimeSyndicate.com for the month of April. So here's what went down.